You ever been in a meeting where you're totally distant? You're out, you're not listening, you're checking your iPhone. Maybe you're in your classroom, maybe in an auditorium. In 2010, I was up in New York. I was at the world's largest pharmaceutical, and I was rolling out a website. And I was the leader, and I was dead asleep. I was not even paying attention, and the client knew it. Patrick, Patrick, y yes, we're, we're good. Uh, we're rolling out the website. Uh, long night, we're good. It's just another website. Patrick, it's not another website. Somewhere in my database is a cure for cancer. You just have to help my scientists get closer to it. Those words and that statement shook me and set me off on my life's next journey. Somewhere in my database is a cure for cancer. You just have to help my scientists get closer to it. I'm a firm believer that a chef has to work at some point in their life in New York City or Paris or London or one of the culinary capitals of the world. I felt at that moment I needed to get out to San Francisco. I needed to see where big data was being built, the platforms, the people, the minds, the thinking, the ideas. So we sold the company, I packed up the U-Haul, and we moved, began our trek out 3,000 miles to San Francisco. Big data, traditional definition, volume, velocity, variety, volume. There's over a trillion photos that are going to be uploaded to Facebook this year. Trillions of data points from IoT devices are being collected. That's volume. Velocity, you're a Facebook user. You want that data back now. Damn you. Velocity, I got to have it back this instant. And variety, try to collect information from a cat video, a cat picture, and text. It's really hard. Variety. But big data is more than that, right? Did you know that behind every 144 character tweet, there are 6,000 characters that you don't see? Which device you took it on? Where you were? What your interests are? Who influences you? Who do you influence? Who are you connected with? What TV shows do you like? Context provides an important part to big data. When I landed in San Francisco, I had to figure out a way to meet some people. The platform meetup allows you to do that. You throw out an idea or a subject that you want to be interested in, and everybody shows up for it. They sign up for it. Sitting on the couch, I decided I was going to create a meetup called Social Data, Social Big Data and Analytics. And that night, over 500 data scientists signed up for it. They had the same interest that I did. It's a big number in San Francisco, data scientists. And it got the attention of Twitter. Twitter said, hey, Patrick, uh, we see what you're doing here. Can you also do this in Washington, New York, Boston, London, Paris, Berlin? Sure, if you fly me there, it's a good deal. I would get to listen to some of the best data scientists around the world and work with some of the people that are do, doing some amazing things. In San Francisco, we had Airbnb come in and talk about how they changed their product instantaneously. Zenga, the Farmville, they were painting cows different colors based on social data that was coming in instant, instantly. Netflix, heard of House of Cards? They built the entire show based on social data, big data. In New York, I got to listen to the New York Times talk about how they visualize this stuff. And we had in Washington, D.C., the Obama data team come in and say, in 2012, this is how we won the election. Social data. Scientists in D.C. are using social data to tell whether someone's about to commit suicide, and they're stopping it, and it's working. And yes, even in London, the equivalent of our FDA is using social data to predict where a foodborne virus is going to outbreak, down to the block level, using the context I spoke about. In Jakarta, they're detecting floods based on big data and social data. And finally, in Boston, we had the data team from MIT, the Medical Research Center, detect where people might be having cancer just based on what their tweets were doing. Remember, somewhere in my database is the cure for cancer. I returned back from San Francisco to start a data company. The data of today is a pred predicator to some incredible things that are happening in artificial intelligence, and it's building the foundation. 
because somewhere in our database is a cure for cancer. We just got to get closer to it. Thank you.